Hey there, fellow streamers. Welcome to the channel dedicated to helping you supercharge your Fire Stick. In today's video, we're going to be installing three must-have apps for your Fire Stick. Live sports events, live TV channels, and on-demand movies and TV shows. Stick around until the end, and I'll even show you an awesome Cody Wizard with a ton of builds for you to try out, practically giving you unlimited content. So, grab your remote and follow the guide, and remember you can always pause the video at any time if things are going too fast. First, we're going to head to the home screen of your device and make our way across to the search icon. In the search bar, start typing the word Downloader, and after a couple of letters, it should appear at the top of the list, so go ahead and click on it. Click on the icon, you can't miss it, it's the big orange one with Downloader written on it. While that's downloading, if I could ask that you hit that like and subscribe button, it only takes two seconds, but helps out the channel massively. Before we open up Downloader, we need to enable some hidden settings to make it work. So hit the Home button. Make your way across to Settings, and then down to the My Fire TV icon. By default, the developer options are hidden. Just enter the About section and tap on the device name seven times. Hit the Back button and you should now see they have been enabled. Once inside, go ahead and click Install Unknown Apps. You can now go ahead and switch the toggle to On for Downloader. You may have seen a lot in the news lately about streaming movies and IPTV online, so we would always recommend using a VPN with these apps. We personally recommend using IPVanish, and by following the link in the description or in our bio, you can get up to 83% discount, and it costs just a couple of dollars a month. Here's a quick video of the benefits. Did you know that your ISP can see all of your streaming activity? While your watch list may not be that interesting, your ISP can also keep track of all of your other online activity. Do you feel like your privacy is invaded now? With IPVanish, all of your data is encrypted, so your ISP can no longer understand your online activity. Protect your internet privacy today with IPVanish. Just click the link in the description to register and ensure your privacy. Once you've finished these steps, click home and make your way to your newly installed downloader app. Open it up, head to the search bar at the top and click on it. Now, follow along with me and type in the code exactly as you see on the video. This is going to automatically download the file we need to install the app to your Fire Stick. Remember, you can always pause if you need more time. Just wait for the file to download, then hit the Install button when it appears. Once it's downloaded, hit Install and enjoy your free sports. Let's head back to the Downloader search bar and install our next app. Now, follow along with me and type in the code exactly as you see on the video. Remember, you can always pause if you need more time. Again, just wait for the APK to download and then follow the prompts to install. Now our live TV channels are taken care of. Let's head back to the downloader search bar and install our next app. Now, follow along with me and type in the code exactly as you see on the video. This is going to automatically download the file we need to install the app to your Fire Stick. Remember, you can always pause if you need more time. Again, just wait for the APK to download and then follow the prompts to install. So now that's your movies and TV shows all sorted. Okay, as promised, it's now time to install that Cody Wizard and get access to all those awesome builds. Let's make our way back to the Downloader app. Once you've clicked the search bar, type in this web address exactly as you see on the screen. Once you're finished typing, click OK and wait for the site to load. Head over to the menu in the top right corner, then scroll down and click Download. Scroll down again and find the Android logo. 
This is the one we need as our Fire Sticks run on a modified version of the Android operating system. Then go down and find this exact version you see on the screen. It has to be this 32-bit version as the others will not work on your device. Now, while we wait for that to download and install, I should tell you that while Kodi is probably the best media player out there, no media will be available without some extra steps we need to take to download and install the add-on that is going to give us all that streaming goodness. Just follow along with me in the video, and I'll show you how to get the best build out there at the moment, all from within the Kodi app itself. Okay, so now that's all been installed, we can go ahead and click open. Kodi will ask for some permissions, and may take a moment to open up. Just click OK and wait until you get to the app's home screen. Now, as you can see, if you scroll around a bit, there's nothing in here apart from a few standard add-ons. Not for long. There's just a few more steps we need to go through first. Make your way to this small cog icon and click on it. This will take us to the settings screen. Once it's open, go ahead and scroll down to the box that says System. Then make your way down to Add-ons. Press across and enable Unknown Sources. Click Yes to the warning. Then press back on your remote to get to the Settings screen. Then make your way to File Manager. Now we're going to scroll down to Add Source and go ahead and click on it. Once this box appears, just go ahead and click the middle button on your remote. Now we need to tell Cody the location of the zip file we are going to need to install the build. Just make sure you type in exactly what you see on the screen, as we need to make sure that Cody can grab that file so it can start the installation a bit later on. I'll keep this section at a slower speed so you can make sure you can follow along. Remember, you can always pause or rewind the video if it's going too fast. Go ahead and press OK once you're finished, then OK again when this box appears. You'll see it's top of the list. Click back and scroll to add-ons. Scroll down to install from zip file and click OK. Now click the first zip in the list. Just wait for that to install and scroll up to install from repository. Now scroll down and click the Doomsday repo. Go into Program Add-ons and select the Doomsday Repo GUI. Hit Install. Now just wait a few seconds for it to install and then scroll across and hit Open. And there you have it. The wizard is pretty self-explanatory. Just head over to the Build section and have a look around. If you see a build you like a look of, then just hit Install and follow the on-screen prompts. If you change your mind and would like to try another build out, just head into the program's add-in from the Kodi home screen and pick the Doomsday Wizard and install another.